Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Noah Mitchell from Zenoscope Entertainment, coming to you live from our beautiful storage room. Take a look at my beautiful display of hand sanitizer and keyboard dusters and thumbtacks and all sorts of good stuff. Ralph is, uh, well, let's see where Ralph is. Ralph, come on on. <laughs> Ralph is, uh... Well, you didn't even use a background, Noah. You just went for the full, uh, messy store storage room. Noah... No one took, I, I guess it's my fault because I kicked you out of the conference room. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Hi, welcome. But that Do does look like a very you. comfortable room that you're in. It is warm. It's comfy. I have a. I have some artwork here. You got a plush chair, a nice Beautiful. We table. Have a Zenoscope art in the background. So look at this that, mouse. That's a mouse from 1997. It's retro. Well, oh, we're here. I'm here. Good to so, have you. And who I'm else is here? Who else is in the office? It's Casey Brennan. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's, how's your office? Freezing. I haven't taken my jacket off all day and I have to use my Zenoscope branded Van Helsing blanket. And you too can stay warm this holiday season by going to www.zenoscope.com. I can hear Noah. Uh, wow, that's that's weird. Okay. Hi, Ralph. I cannot hear Noah. Huh? I can hear huh. Noah. I'll translate. I could hear, hear Casey. All right, I'll translate. That's. <laughs> are you guys messing with me? No. no. Are you messing with me? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know if everybody else could hear Noah, but I cannot. Hear let's Noah. let's see what uh, Mr. Brian has to say, Brian. Can you hear me? Let's see if I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, I can totally hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Yeah, we can hear you. Good to see you. What? Good to see that? you. Okay. Ralph, what do you have? Tendinitis? Too much rock music? Okay. Case. <laughs> Collective hearing. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Who? That's weird. What's going okay. on? I'm going to come in and out. I'll be back. All right. Oh. Bye, Ralph. Bye, Ralph. Oh. That was weird. You know what? <laughs> Maybe he's got gremlins in his machine. <gasps> Perfect. Tie in, wrap up. Way. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining That's us in the movie club. That's what I do. Is he back? What do you say? What do you hear? I you hearing hear us? Look at you. Weird. I said I when you left, you must have had a case of gremlins in your computer. I must have. They're messing with me. I, I Turn all on all the lights. Look so under the bed. Yeah. You I never know. You're Casey. I find that so odd. Anyway, I, I can hear you again. If I if I have trouble, I will keep leaving it, re-entering. All right. Well, bring it on. Let's uh, uh, Crystal Star, who needs no introduction. Bam. How you doing? Hello. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. ho. Yeah. Crystal, I, I like the uh, the Christmas. Thank you. Yeah, check this out. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Wow. Wow. See, I don't believe in ho ho ho. I believe in yo 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 yo. yo. <laughs> That's how I roll. Man, everyone's it's Philly. It's a very Philly shirt, Brian. I feel like. <laughs> well, it's uh, MTV, Yo MTV Raps, which way back in the day, early 90s, uh, Yo MTV Raps, uh, the other Dr. Dre uh, and Ed Lover would travel from college to college. Uh, and they were at uh, Rutgers University where they had their live Yo MTV Rap show. And uh, they had a contest to have people come on stage and do the Ed Lover dance. And uh, I went up and did the Ed Lover dance with Ed Lover. I was the only white person, by the way, to go up and even attempt it. So good for you. That is so cool. Yes. So uh, the world. There's my day. world. Noah and Casey, I know y'all are young and don't understand how cool it is, but that is seriously so cool. <laughs> I'm hoping that we can find that on footage somewhere. 
Probably not. Oh, Good luck. Probably not. There were no, there were none of these there. That's for sure. Yeah, unless it was caught on MTV film, and even then, even if it was, even if it was broadcast, like good luck finding that. Damn. <laughs> no. Lost yeah. media. Dave Franchini just said Merry Christmas, everyone. He walked in, he busted in the conference room to say Merry Christmas. Merry just Christmas. Aww. Merry kiss me ass. Merry Christmas, and Dave. Left. <laughs> and then he left. Nice. Is yeah. Sonny well, here or speaking here? speaking of left, we've got one person left, and that's Sun Kumanaki. Hello, What's Sun. Up, hey, the whole I time. I brought my poop mug, and I'm ready. Ooh. Okay, I just want to say I love your sweater, Crystal. Oh. Has anyone ever sat on it? <laughs> <laughs> I knew, wow. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, oh and it continues. We are so happy to have you for the entire show. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm glad Sunday. Hell yeah. Now it's a party. <laughs> yep. You're more than welcome to come anytime you'd like, son. <laughs> Sun's Double in entendre. I All right. know. Oh, oh, so many puns to be made. Um, so many plays of words. <laughs> Let's talk. You want to talk about the movie or? Nah. <laughs> I, I wrote so many notes down this time. Oh, oh wow. Notes. Wow. Look at you uh, doing work. work. Uh -huh. I did work. Today. I did work. I was, I was just so, I never watched the movie before, so I had to really take That's it. Oh, right. yeah. Let's go, let's go around. Who has seen this before? It has been a long, I have not seen it since my youth. In theaters, when it came out with my parents. Ooh. Noah, was your youth like five years ago? <laughs> yes. How about my my early years? My yeah. wonder years? How about that? Yeah, you, technically you're still in your youth. I'm, a, I'm an old man. <laughs> I feel like I am leaving my youth. I'm, I'm breaking oh. down. Okay, so people who saw it for the first time, that's Ralph and Casey. Mm -hmm. That's it? Ralph, uh, how the heck did you make it through this long without watching it? I just never, I, I don't know. It's one of those movies that just, I didn't see when I was a kid. And then I had no interest after I grew up. No interest like, in it. That's so weird. That's weird. Okay. Just I, just seen, like, I, I kind of knew what it would be. I'm like, I'm sure it's about little green <laughs> gremlin. I knew what a gremlin was. And They're I not was green. Like, okay. Whatever fuck color they are, um, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, I just never saw saw it. I just never really thought about it. Okay. But I, I did. Watch it. I watched it the other night, and I have notes, and I'm very, very excited because this might be the highest rated movie of the year for me. I'm just kidding. That was a <laughs> um, I mean, that's gonna be like a three for you, so. <laughs> Uh, Literally, I was like, what if you went with the real Ralph? Who is this imposter? <laughs> First of all, I, I've given other movies a five, I think, or at least a 4.5. Not this year. Terminator was this year, wasn't it? No. No. Um, okay, <laughs> I have let's funny, start. I have, a funny feeling, I have a funny feeling next year is going to be a shit ton of fives out of you. Like, there's not one controversial film at all on that list I know. coming up for next I made all well, when we were doing the movie list, I just was like, I'm only putting movies on here I like because I can't sit through shit. <laughs> You're getting um, soft. You're getting so, soft. I know. Should we show the just, real quick the 2023 list? Because I don't know if you've ever you, if you want to show it, we could show okay. it. Yeah. I guess we won't surprise you. John Wick, I never saw. Drive, never So are these saw. like all 80s, like, except for RoboCop? Oh, and no, Mad Max? Fury Road? Is that, an, is that Fury the Road? Road? That's 2013. Did you say Drive's Drive is 90s. Drive is 2011, probably. Kill Bill's like 2000 something. There's a theme if you guys can figure oh. it out. I, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I get you like. You see, it's a theme. It's like the best nominated films of fucking the Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. What what uh, what was the intended theme? The theme is like I thought we like trashy '80s movies here. <laughs> strong protagonist action movies. What All right, Brian, problem? you and I can start a trashy '80s movie club. <laughs> Listen, 
There's some 80s in there. Commando. Top Gun. Robocop. I personally, I thought the theme was steroids, but that's just me. <laughs> also steroids. Listen, we went with action. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. We went with action. The end. Now, man, that's all. Period. period. So Brian was correct. We'll do 1950, you know, fantasy. What do you want from me? Yeah. No. Hey, uh, Casey, let's just put it right down there. All of those are going to be fives. Just come oh, just hang on cash. <laughs> <Get this video. laughs> <Great>. <laughs> I've More actually like, seen two movies on there. It was so you needed something like a, like a, like a Turner and the original Hooch. one. I don't know how <laughs> to <That's... do> it. <laughs> All right. So, did you like Gremlins, Ralph? No, no. <laughs> no, no. It was okay. I mean, cool. for the time, I mean, here's the thing. We can start at the beginning. Uh, here, I, I immediately have an issue with this little kid disobeying his grandfather and and and, and selling Gizmo, whatever his name is, for, for 200 bucks. Like that's Which, crazy. by the way, now, nowadays, I looked it up. Nowadays, that would be $545. Actually, okay. I didn't look it up. Rad looked it up. He's, I think he's in chat, so. Thank you, Rad. Because I was Thank watching you. this and I was like, I have Lego sets that cost more than this little guy. <laughs> what the hell? And I still have Lego sets that cost more than $545. I mean, it seemed <laughs> weird, this kid. Because this kid didn't seem like an idiot. He seemed like he knew what's going on. Um, and then you're going to disobey. You're not going to disobey that old guy. Like, I wouldn't mess around with that dude. Maybe he was hungry. Um, they needed money for food. They, um, they so looked like they were in the slums. I don't know. That bothered me a little bit that you're going to give this guy up for 200 bucks. Um, so that was my first red flag. What about you? Okay. Guys? What was your uh, second my, red flag? My oh, first so red flag. Okay, Brian, what was yours? For, my first red flag was Corey Feldman. So <laughs> you knew if he was going to be in it, shit's going to go Brian, sideways. Didn't you go to his concert recently? And how was it? Oh, I didn't go to his concert. Who said that? I'm just kidding. You who's don't that? Who's that? He's been, he's been at the it? convention circuit, but I guess he performs at him, at, like as a panel. It's his... amazing. You have to go see his performances. Yeah, Brian. He, he, go, he wanted me to be one of his angels. Did he? Yeah. Oh. We, we went on a date to the, uh, and uh, that ended horribly. Horribly. Yeah. That's, that's like uh, literally that's what happened. That's what common I thing. I couldn't I remember it. that movie. I couldn't remember who was in it. And as soon as Corey Feldman come, came on it, the, my first words weren't, hey, that's Corey Feldman. I said, oh, hey, look, that's Crystal's ex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ex, no. Date. I know, I know. Date. <laughs> well, that that, that was my that. first red flag was that. <laughs> uh, secondly, I remember when this movie came out, uh, and people are like, it's going to be the next ET. Uh, it, it's not. It's not. ET is in this movie, by the way. Yes, correct. It is. Yeah, correct. Um, and uh, you know, I, I expected it to be fun, which it was. Uh, it was during the time in America in the '80s when uh, Japanese technology was, you know, being pushed everywhere with the Walkmans and the Sony TVs and everything else. So movies in America started going. You know, God damn it! All this Japanese technology started going. Let's call it what it is: racist. Uh, with like movies like Gung Ho and this, where it was like gremlins are and everything. They send them to us from Japan and stuff like that. And you know, when you look, I, I. <laughs> right, W W I, you know, one. You know, and the 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 ancient guy who's who has the magwise, you know, straight out of like central casting for what white people think ancient. Japanese mystics are um, that kind of feel now watching it now was like, Ooh, this is a bit cringy. Uh, but then it was like, yeah, USA, USA, you know, we, we had the on the little USA flag. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so, but overall as a Christmassy Phoebe Cates always makes things go down a little bit better uh, kind of movie. Um, it was fun. You know, in a 
practical special effects, no less kind of eighties, really good kind of movie. I, I enjoyed it for that, but there are moments where like, well, that wouldn't play today. No, oh, that sucks. Oh yeah. yeah. It, honestly, the, uh, the, the guys kind of tirade about, oh, they're putting them in their cars and sending them over here with their parts. It kind of made the like house bulldozing a little bit more like, oh, all right, it's, you know, I, I don't care. His house got, you know, bulldozed. He's kind of an asshole. Okay. And was he in the Terminator? Yes, he was. He was the, the gun shop owner. Where he's like, yeah, you can't yeah. do that in here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Because I watched this with Twitch right before, and they're like, "He's." I was, like, "What is he from?" And they're like, "Terminator." I was like, huh? <laughs> "And apparently, TNG as well." <laughs> he was. I, I I took a quick look through uh, IMDb. He's been in like a little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. What do you? He call was like. A, he, he was definitely an every man kind of casting. Yeah. Is there Brian? Is there a name for something like that? Like character like, actor. Character actor, like the okay, okay, yeah. And I'm surprised Judge Reinhold got such like I saw his name like so big in the opening yeah. credits, and he was there to be like, Hey, you're poor, I'm rich, see you later. Like, that was, <laughs> and then he was out. I didn't see him for the rest of the movie, they didn't give him much to do. Well, probably uh, James Spader was probably busy, so they had to give it to somebody. Hmm. Uh, I, I got booted out for a second, I missed who did we talk about? Uh, other cameos yet like people i popped up in this movie that i was i was shocked about like uh, howie mandel howie mandel's voice as <laughs> you know <laughs> featuring bobby's world uh the fact that howie mandel voiced gizmo is that part of this whole thing made it worthwhile watching i never knew that um i don't Neither understand I. happened but that sound it's great it's great <laughs> bye oh. billy <laughs> <laughs> It was. I was also amazed that nobody questioned what this creature really was. Like nobody seemed all that like mm -hmm. shocked that. I we literally had a big conversation on Twitch about that. I was like, okay, he like has this magical mystical creature. Corey Feldman just comes up and is checking out comics. He's like, oh, by the way, I got this pet, and Corey's just like, oh, cool, I want one. Gets bit, and he's like, I'm out. I'm over it. He goes and reads 3D comics. I would just be like, oh my God, so fascinated. Like <laughs> the kid, the the kid, what I don't what Billy was his name, Billy? Billy. Mm -hmm. He's a horrible caretaker. Like he looks like he's a <laughs> 30. Like why, yeah. why why he's doing everything wrong. He's doing everything you're not supposed to do. Three things. Three things he, he could not do. Away. Everything he like spilled water on this poor thing. It's like going into shock, multiplying, and they didn't even like he just ignored it. <laughs> they ignore this thing and while the while the it's duplicating. It's just so weird. weird I love how like he the the alien eggs are there and he's like, oh mom, no. And it's like they assume they're dead and then they don't clean it up. Do anything. Let yeah. leave the alien eggs there to rot. A lot of interesting choices made. Well, yeah. I mean it's interesting because he doesn't take responsibility for any of it. And <laughs> then it's it's the women in his life that actually corrected everything. Like the mom goes on this like Ripley esque rampage in the kitchen, killing them all in the beginning when they don't even know that they're actually evil yet. Um, and then Wait, the they throw that, something at her. The killings, they were. the killings are pretty, then, by the way. Yeah, Sorry. the killings are good. That's and the Phoebe Cates, another one killing tons of them. It was awesome. My note was like, is this for kids? I got confused once the killing started because I thought it was marketed toward kids. And so then originally I'm not. Originally, okay. Gremlins was supposed to be like an actual, like a very hardcore horror film. Uh, um, and then they were making it. And I think they were just so damn cute and funny. And like <laughs> the, the um, I might be telling the story wrong, but the, the studio was like, no, we need to make this more family friendly. And the writer of it got kind of pissed. Like he was not, he wasn't super happy with having to kind of yeah. rewrite it. So they, uh, they Ewoked the shit out of it to make the evil things into the cuddly things, the Spielberg treatment. Yeah. Treatment. But it was, it was like two different tones to it because mm -hmm. like, if you're going there as like a, your parents taking you as like a nine or 10 year old child, it's a little bit disturbing, I think, for that age. 
Uh, I was uh, 13, 13 or 14. I remember, like, this was big when I was, like, I don't know, eight, maybe? I don't find, I mean, and kids were seeing it my age. So, like, does that make sense? <laughs> well, <laughs> not the Santa Claus story. Where like, he was telling, like, when she was telling about her dad dying. Yeah. That's straight yeah. out of like Silent Night, Deadly Night. Dude, I'm like, yeah. What the hell was that monologue? The, that's I, I wrote about that too. Like she just went into this dark monologue about her dad getting stuck in a chimney, and how that's how she. Well, found every, it. every kid goes and thinks that part. Like, how does he come down a chimney? How does he even fit? So I guess this writer's like, oh, I'll tell you a story about down a chimney, and made it a nice dark one. I I found that funny, kind of funny. The timing was weird, but at the same time, I was like, that's hilarious. Yeah, Anson. I loved it. I loved it. Seven years plus in that every year, year. Every year on the news, there is somebody who's caught in a chimney trying to replicate that bullshit story. Every year? Wow. Yeah. Or a burglar. There's usually a burglar or something. There's always someone caught in a wall or the chimney or whatever. And I'm always like, what is wrong with people? Like, seriously. A the best, lot, Ryan. The best <laughs> movie was by uh, Jonathan Banks. Um, shout out to, to um, Jonathan Banks, who plays, um, what's his name? God, uh, now it's escaping me. Um, you know, you guys know. Come on, Breaking Bad. Mike, Mike. Oh, right? yeah. Hmm. Um, young Mike, yeah. Young, a young Mike from Breaking Bad with a, with a a playing a cop. I was very excited to see him. Yeah. He's keeping on the force forever. Whenever That's I see right. him pop up, he used in to be a cop too. Get excited mm -hmm. about it. Huh. huh. Uh, yeah, that, it. that was in his precinct before they uh, sent him over to uh, Chicago or whatever. Right. <laughs> can we talk about the dad's inventions? I tried to write them all down, but I want to see if y'all can remember all of them. All right. So, first off, let's what play a, a game. Like, that is the type of guy that would be like, hey, I want to buy something for my son. Oh, a furry little creature from some strange mystical store. Sounds great. Let me buy, buy it and bring it home. 35-year-old son. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be in high school. <laughs> but you got the juicer that just exploded. I got the juicer. Like, okay. Crazy amount of juice. Toothpaste one, right? There's a toothpaste, toothpaste one. Toothpaste one, yeah. The bathroom buddy. The bathroom buddy, that's the shaving kit. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a combo toothbrush, uh, toothbrush holder, toothpaste dispenser, razor holder, I like shaving cream dispenser. The beginning where it squirts on him when he's showing the guy. There, it, there oh are God. eight. There are eight. We've got the ash, the ash, the ashtray that he gives him at the end. Yep. Uh, okay. Coffee maker that has coffee the sludge. Maker. Yeah, yeah. The, the the automatic phone. The phone, the, okay. The lobotomy machine that makes me forget this movie exists. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not a part of it. No. Okay. How many more okay. do we need? Two or three. <laughs> pancake maker? Was there a pancake maker? I don't know. I don't think or so. Am I think <laughs> the or egg thing. I think egg I'm, yes. I'm, egg I'm, thing. Okay, the egg thing. All right. Oh, I was thinking there are three uh, more. There are three more after that. There are three more after that. Oh my god. The, okay. Say juicer. Christopher said juicer. Yeah. I think we I think we got the That was the juicer. first one, I think. I don't know. Does anybody know? What was okay. it? Does anyone in chat know? What is it? I asked if anyone in chat. Okay, you want me to tell you? Here, I'll tell you. So All we've right. got the fly swatter. It's the oh, that's fly true. swatter thing. <laughs> there is the card deck. Like the dispenser, and then the weird hammer thing. <laughs> the Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, I was like, "What is that?" Yes. Yeah. So I, we got. That's all I wrote down. So. <laughs> yeah, like this ongoing gag. That's what it is. Like part camp. It was definitely like campy movie. Obviously. Oh yeah, it's the eighties. That's why the, this the eighties movies are like. Oh, they're just such magic. I love them. It, yeah, it, that's a drinking game right there. If you want to drink every time you see one of the dad's inventions. Have fun. You're welcome. I <laughs> yeah, don't don't make the drinking game how many gremlins there are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once they all start, yeah, and, and also 
seeing the ending and how to get rid of the gremlins, uh, I think Quentin Tarantino owes these guys a I, writing I was credit. Say that, Brian, I, I wrote that in my notes. Tarantino ripped off gremlins for Inglorious Bastards. I yep. want to see a cut where someone can cut the footage together with all the gremlins in the theater and then the guys like up in the uh, the oh, balcony yeah. seats. <laughs> yeah. Somebody on YouTube needs to make that happen. Yeah, well, the gremlins ripped off aliens hardcore. Hardcore. Oh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, too. Yeah. They even, use they even it say the that. Yeah they even, they even, yeah, they even say it. He's like, cut that shit out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the Tribbles. Um, the trouble with triples. I, I yeah, never, it's one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> uh, to bring this back to camp, Phoebe Cates. I honestly didn't know what else she was in besides um, uh, times? Fast Times. After yeah. Fast, I felt like she fell off the map after Fast Times, but she was in this movie. So there you go. I didn't know that. I literally, I was talking to my Twitch. I was like, I know her from somewhere. Where was, what was she in? And they're like, Fast Times. I was like, oh, I never remember her face. <laughs> I was kind of this. No. Uh, 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 iconic scene of the 80s. Is TV yeah. Kate. Getting out of that. Yeah. In fact, I like the News in a Scope movie club sign. Talking about that, Blockbuster's number one film that like broke was Fast Times at Ridgemont High during her part getting out of the pool because people would rewind it, play, rewind it, play, rewind it, play, and it would actually break the tape. <laughs> yes. Yes. So fun fact. Yeah. I love Brian's face right now. He's like, I was one of them. <laughs> still I took care. I took care of the tapes. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, that's interesting. Um, I remember seeing Fast Times, by the way, as a as a little kid and thinking there's something wrong. I should not be watching this movie. Um, You're like, it's giving me feelings. There's so many things that I should not be. Um, why didn't the so what does the the gremlin drink, do you think? Like what what hydrates it? Fruit. <laughs> What? <laughs> Look, it's just... If you can't get it wet, what were you? What was it? I don't Celery. Know. Seems interesting. <laughs> Co coconut water. Curious about what, how it lived, besides magic. I want to know how. It's like an elf on the shelf. <laughs> they, they could have been putting lights on a lot more. I feel like. Yeah. Like a, a bar's got to have like lights. Like Everybody out. Oh, no. Maybe. Can we name some of the other movies or movie references that we saw in Gremlins? So there was an Indiana yeah. Jones billboard. Like yes. A, so Indiana Jones. Oh, there was. You already said Body Snatchers. Oh, there you go, Body Snatchers. It was they a bunch of Spielberg movies, wasn't there? Danger, Will Robertson. Sense. Danger. Oh, Lost in Space. Hey, we had the robot from Lost yeah. in Space. Ha, I don't use it myself. I tend to rust. <laughs> Obviously, we said E.T. earlier. Yeah. And then they were watching. E.T., that's right. Wonderful Life. A Wonderful Life is in there. Yep. And what's the is that Clark Gable? Which one was that? Is that White Christmas? The a certain kind of dame needs a certain kind of guy. Yes, I, I don't remember. I don't remember that one. But yeah, um, we watched another black and white. We could. And Snow White. They were watching Snow White. Yes. Right. Right. So um, that's all the ones I had written anybody down. <laughs> Did anybody else know cringy, cringy dialogue? I have one good one. I think there was a lot of cringy dialogue in here, but go for <laughs> it. Go for well, it. <laughs> stood out was when he goes. Well, you don't celebrate Christmas? What are you, Hindu or something? <laughs> Damn it. I must have gone to the restroom at that point. That uh, what? Really what? Yeah. What, what are you, Hindu or something? Those are your only two <laughs> options. Like, oh, okay, right. If you're Hindu, you don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> um, and then there was another one. Wait, I think I wrote it down. Uh, oh, there's a sign teacher said... He's going through a lot of changes, and Corey Feldman says, "Sounds like my mother." <laughs> <laughs> I Amazing. Guess, I guess that was a menopause joke. Uh, that's how yes. I. Took it. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Those were two I wrote down that I felt. Although that was, I mean, it made me laugh, probably for the wrong reasons, but it made me laugh. <laughs> Um, and the Hindu Hindu thing made me laugh too for the wrong reason. Um, yeah, I don't know I've, if they spotted any more bad, weird dialogue, but those were two of them. I think the cringiest dialogue for me was any time that the the creep the like the wicked old witch lady was like talking about murdering his dog. Yeah. I was oh like, my gosh. I yeah, was like, a, you ain't gonna be able to say that shit in TV nowadays. I'm gonna <laughs> put him in a dryer on the heat setting. Yeah, yeah and then the guy was like, "Yeah, that'll do it." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> it was By the so way, early on too, I was like, "Oh, what is this movie?" <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, uh, this this guy was like the person who wrote this was Christopher Columbus, who right. has known for Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Who's known for a, a couple of the uh, Harry Potter movies, um, Stepmom, Bicentennial Man, Nine Months. Uh, he he. Uh, uh, what else did he write? He wrote a bunch of stuff. So it's funny that this cat went on to do really good films that we would be like, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" Right. But how people start off with really cheap kind of jokes, low fruit. Hanging kind of I swings. Think it was the jump. time too, though. No, yeah, of course you write for what the audience uh, is seeing. Yeah, he was probably a little bit more immature as a writer, and also like you don't know what kind of notes he gets from. I mean, well, he he was actually really upset about this film. Like yeah. he, this was not the film that he had written originally at all. Um, mm -hmm. It's very they, different. They could have taken that and get and and inserted their own. A lot of producers could have changed the script how they saw fit. Like, who knows? Who knows how much control he had over those things? So, um, yeah. Uh, I I love the song. I kept like the like the actual dun, 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 song. And it's dun, 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 Brad looked dun, dun. up for us, and it's called the Gremlins Rag. And yeah, it's, it's uh, Jerry, Jerry Goldsmith. <laughs> Jerry Goldsmith, that's a correct. Well he's a, well, he's a legend. He's a legend in the screen, especially in the 80s. Uh, just like John Williams, Jerry Goldsmith, then you went to Danny Elfman. There's so many different composers you would go to in the 80s, and he was one of them. Yeah, it's I. it was perfect. It was perfect. Well, just so you know, as I'm checking the IMDb here, uh, there is a three in development. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, and a and a Goonies two in development. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I know Goonies two is uh, Adam F. Goldberg is involved. I think in Goonies. Would it or, be the same cast for Goonies? Um, no, Chris I don't Chalot know. I, I, I thought Adam Goldberg was gonna. Because if be, not, I'm out. So <laughs> I think Adam's involved in Goonies. I shouldn't say that because I don't know if I'm allowed to. <laughs> um. Actually, Chunk was, uh, he he helped do uh, all of my paperwork for uh, Lego Masters. So he's, he that's what he does for a living now. He's, Chunk? Yeah. Is he still Chunky? No. No? No, he's, yeah. actually, he's actually like, he's he's attractive dude. Look at Crystal, so. always always checking it out. Always checking mm -hmm. things. Yeah. I have uh, eyeballs. Well. <laughs> I heard you dated Sloth for a little while. True or false? <laughs> I don't know what he looked like under that mask. <laughs> um, uh, do we want to go over our least favorite parts and favorite yeah, parts? Yeah, we should do a least favorite scene and bet and favorite scene. Okay. Oh, we have a nice uh, message from. <laughs> from <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> is the robot back? The robot. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Stupid sex spot. All right, Noah, do you have a least favorite part? I, I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, <laughs> Just skip me. Go to someone else. Oh, do you have your favorite part then? Uh, favorite part, definitely the you. I think you already touched on it. The mom going, uh, like they went hard on some of those killings. She went and like stabbed him a couple yeah, times. It turned into a horror movie. Oh, kitchen, the blender. The, the, she got him in the blender. She put him the in the microwave. microwave. Was my favorite. The microwave the was microwave. my favorite. The microwave is the best kill. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was insane. And it, it just, it definitely turned it, it up to 11. Like, I, I was surprised. The killings in the kitchen really were, it, it threw me off for a bit. And I think, like, uh, first off, you have that, like, scientist teacher guy. And he gets, like, a syringe in the butt. Right. And I, like, I don't know, did he die? Like, did Well, yeah, because it was supposed to be, I read it was supposed to be multiple syringes were going to be in his body, like, all over. <laughs> like and, the crow? And then Spielberg, yeah, and then Spielberg was like, no, let's just make it one, because we don't want to go too crazy. And then they had the whole kitchen. Not crazy. So, like, what? Like, the one <laughs> syringe was like, okay, that'll soften it a bit. And then, <laughs> but I guess because it was a human murder, maybe? I don't know. Oh, let me throw up Neil's comment real quick because that was I was not expecting him to go as hard as they did when he's like, yes, she's melting. And he he basically just like a skin with like he's a he's a he's a skeleton puppet with melted flesh. Yeah, it was a little bit it was craziness. And his <laughs> eyes are all whited out. Well, my, my favorite scene was uh, if we're going favorite first, at least because I find, finding a least favorite. I mean, shit. <laughs> so, anything else in the movie uh, my favorite was probably what's her name dying I'm trying to find it I enjoyed oh the Christmas carol scene at Mrs. Deagle's house the cat lady the chair malfunction was, was cool I enjoyed it <laughs> and I like was... I like the gremlins Christmas caroling I thought that was fun <laughs> that was enjoyable I don't know why I was also going to bring up the chair malfunction scene because I remember, um, so like my mom is pretty conservative with like movies I was allowed to watch as a kid. And this was, this was not one of them. Um, and, <laughs> but my, my aunt, her sister, it was like a huge movie buff and like let her kids watch whatever. And I remember my grandma, she was telling me, she's like, I had to watch this terrible movie and she never told me the name of it. And, but she described the chair malfunction scene. And when I finally watched it today, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is the movie my Nana hated. <laughs> so yeah. honorary mention, that's my favorite scene. Hell yes. I'm trying to think I, what, what's a good lead. I don't know. Least favorite, least favorite scene. That's a tough one. Yeah. So, know. what's your favorite scene while they're thinking? Okay. Um, oh gosh, I think that yeah, it's it's a tie between I think the kitchen attack, uh, slaughterhouse, and um, <laughs> oh, there's another one. Crap, I can't remember. I think that like, I think the movie the in the movie theater I think was a good one too when they're all just it's just a rampage they're just going nuts and they're doing whatever they want and it's just kind of cute seeing all the little costumes and there was one wearing like popcorn bags on his head and it was great i think that part was was really funny um i would i would think the least favorite for me is that is the is billy in general <laughs> the just billy as in the in the movie as a person, he was too old. Ross didn't believe it. It ruined I, it. I've never met oh, him, but I don't like him. The caretaker, nope. he's terrible. I mean, is this kid mental challenge? <laughs> he was, he was like a wet noodle. I thought, like the entire yeah. time, really. No charisma. There's nothing going on there. Yeah. Made poor choices the entire movie, and then he's upset that like Mowgli got with a boat. What's his name? Mowgli. I'm, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. Mowgli's fine. Mogwai. What? Well, Mog. Whatever. Mogwai. Mogwai. <laughs> Mogwai gets taken from him because, like, in shock at the end. Like, of course. You don't deserve him. Yeah. You almost ended the world as we knew it with Gremlins. He, he inadvertently killed, like, five people. He's insane, this kid. Let, let's talk about deaths. The the, the, <laughs> yeah. the the neighbor and his wife. He should be in prison. Neighbor and his plow. wife get run over with a, a pl snow plow. Doctor gets poked with a syringe. Uh, old he lady goes flying out the window. The doctor, <laughs> to be honest, the doctor would run the experiment right away yeah. too. Like this guy made poor choices. Yeah. With um, the assistance, with the assistance of Billy, right? Big, yeah, Billy aided him. He brought him he, the he friggin' right. Him, he did aid it in bed. He was the one that was dropping the syringe on him. <laughs> yeah, check this out, Doc. The adult in the room, but Billy was clearly also an adult in the room. <laughs> 
Very American. <laughs> you have the Santa, there's like a Santa Claus getting tackled by gremlins right when the police pull up. Yes. Oh, yes. He probably dies. So we Yeah, they're like, what the hell is that guy doing? I don't know. I love how they don't call him at all. Like, they're just like, he's just like falling. Yeah. Well, Let's yeah. go back to the state. He rolls up the window. Right. But also, the, in the end, like the the news reporter is like, ah, it's just riots. These people, mm -hmm. like, yeah, they don't even think. it's the eighties. You can cover up more. There was no song. Right. It's Mass like, hysteria. It's like Brian's dancing at uh, at Rutgers. Right. No there evidence. you go. No evidence. <laughs> uh, I my favorite scene as well. Like uh, Son had said was when they're just panning through all the chaos that's going on in the movie theater and appreciating all the artists that put into that practical environment and all the puppeteers that had to operate them and stuff that as an adult now and have been in the industry, no, knowing how much work goes into shit like that. I appreciate it more back as a kid. It was like, Oh my God, look at all this craziness. Right. But uh, now it's like, Holy shit. That's, that's uh, some really cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, unfavorite or scene. I don't know. Um, it's just the, the whole scene of the the purchase with the father and and the old man and the kid is, that is cringy now. And I'm just like, oh, God, if, how would we do this today? And I felt bad for Zach Galligan, uh, who plays Billy, because uh, I know him personally. Nice kid. Nice guy. Um, they just wrote him. That, that character is just written very poorly. Yeah. Sorry to be your friend, Brian. No, I... He doesn't deserve. So here you are. <laughs> he doesn't. Okay. Deserve. Yeah, he probably knows. I think my least favorite part was the woman talking about the death of the dog. Like that triggered me on yeah. levels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you then her to die right away. It was. Yeah, yeah. you did. You did. But she was and so then, at the top with it. It was like. And just how like everyone was just like okay with it. I was just it like, felt like Wizard of what's it Wizard of Oz, and she's like, yeah, I wrote her down as the Wicked Witch of the West. That's why they were right. trying. To her yeah they even had like that music playing as she's crossing the street right and they even had her her feet sticking up out of the ground like the the legs oh, out through under the house yeah yeah, yeah. and then my favorite part Anson, is again Anson has a good thing too with the uh, bar scene another fun craziness That's what I was gonna say. the bar scene and the movie theater are my favorite parts but out of all of that i love um like the the gremlin with the pink uh um leg warmers like I love those killer. Oh yeah, the flash dance gremlin. Yes, the flash dance gremlin. There's and another movie reference. Oh yeah, flash dance. And then <laughs> uh but my favorite my favorite scene all time is when Grim uh Gizmo's driving around in the Barbie Corvette. Mm -hmm. Like I freaking love that so much. I had that pink Barbie Corvette, <laughs> and because of that pink Barbie Corvette, my first three cars were pink. Um, I, and I'm not saying it's because of this movie, it's because of Barbie, but there was like Barbies on the shelf that we got to see. And it's like, I just, I love, I love, love him riding in that car. Like, it's just so, it makes me happy. It brings me mm -hmm. love to cool. So that's my favorite scene. <laughs> well, it was a good one. It was a good I one. I like, yeah, Gizmo's cute, you know. He's super cute. Like next level cute. <laughs> little yeah. paws, and little tiny nose. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, the one thing I was shocked about, I did not know, not having watched this before, I knew the grip came from him. Like, I knew when you get him wet and he multiplies. I somehow knew that. I didn't know they multiplied into other furry things first. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And then when oh, like the logways that they ate, I didn't know if they, like, the whole thing that made them gremlins was eating after midnight. Right, uh, right. So, like, that was very uh, shocking. <laughs> also, shocking. how does that work with time zones? I was like, thinking that. I was like, okay, so when can you start feeding them in the morning after midnight? Right. Well, like, when, at uh, what point does it become? Is it like noon? Obviously, obviously based on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you would think between midnight, it would be like specific, like not between midnight and six. Or midnight and, and dawn, but coastal time. It wasn't very well. Twelve rules weren't really very like well no. put together. No. He's gonna go with it. Billy yeah. is the biggest moron on the planet, and he doesn't he doesn't realize the clock's unplugged. Like 
so, so bad. I probably wouldn't notice that either. So <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's like, yeah, I mean, I'd be beating him. <laughs> but when so, this movie came out, though, it was huge. So, toys were everywhere. I still have some Gremlins toys. I, 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 and that's Ralph, one of, uh, one of my Twitch family members, her name is Jen Lee. And she is like probably one of the biggest gremlin collectors. She's done like all the cosplays and she's like, she's obsessed. She, she went on her lunch break today. Cause one of our other Twitch family was like messaged her and we're like, we're watching gremlins. So she took a break to come watch gremlins with us for like 10 minutes today. Yeah. Um, Furbies. Somebody mm -hmm. mentioned Furbies. I remember I those for sure. And they literally were built after Gremlins, like their their right. entire facial structure and even mm -hmm. their voices. It's a oh, whale. Like that's mm -hmm. it's straight yeah. up. This and it talked, right? Yeah, yes. nobody's questioning this. This is crazy. Oh, the actual Gremlins, yeah. The gremlins. I was thinking about the Furbies okay, too. Yeah, I was like, there's I'm batteries. Somebody was like, oh, Mowgli. What, what the hell's his name? Mogwai. Mogwai. Mowgli. Mowgli. How sh I mean, this is five hundred dollars with adjusted inflation. That's that's a, <laughs> a steal. It's so <laughs> funny that we're bringing the adjusted inflation. <laughs> wow, you Ryan. Oh no, that's right. You know, I just, think that'd be in there. If my dog was talking, I'd be making a fortune. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jeez, it's oh, well. Yeah. Uh, I could sell them for much more than five hundred dollars. Um, I love you would sell then, them, you turd. Just, <laughs> I like I'd really sell my dog. Listen, we know what would happen if they really existed today. The government would have would have them as a weapon, just like aliens, and they would just drop them on countries after midnight with a big bucket of chicken, and then made more by throwing them in a vat back in the, the United States, and then just kept sending them to countries that all right, go nuts. I love this idea. <laughs> Good idea. I uh, you know, you know. Um, after that movie, the government was like, "Hmm, Jensen, get on that." <laughs> you know, how, how close are we in genetics? What disturbs me now is if Mogwai, if Gizmo ate after midnight, he would just be a gremlin. Yeah. And just so you know, the failed experiment of the government's version of gremlins obviously was Webster. And it, he went on to do a TV show. Oh my God. Or Webster. Also, The Grinch. So, after, The Grinch was made much later, but the dog, Barney, is the same dog from The Grinch. Not the exact same dog, but the breed. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, which is another Christmas movie. So, I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, that is cool. Um, should we get to our scores? I guess we should. Yes. Let's do, uh, the Zebiscope chart first. Casey, let's mm -hmm. please. I Please. just have the standard charts. This oh. Time. <laughs> was, uh, I like those colors, fine. though. I, like I did change color. the colors. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice graph. So Pirates is still winning. Cool. Pirates is crushed. <laughs> Pirates beat out aliens and fifth <laughs> element. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no Back at fifth element is so high, still, it perturbs it. I'm sure. Don't worry. Next year it's all going to be fives, Ralph. Relax. <laughs> Wait, Ralph, are you are you why the fifth element is not a five? Yes. yes. No, I think Marilyn. Marilyn <laughs> yes. Did Marilyn? Get yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Marilyn, do we have a score for her tonight? Oh, you know what? I don't. Yeah, that's a score. She was a last minute scratch. But, uh, I'm really sorry about last month. I legit forgot. Oh, really. <laughs> Know that um, that's okay. okay. You've got a dog now. So who in their rating for this movie? Stanley. Stanley, what did you think of Gremlins? Okay, just uh, who wants I'm. To I'm gonna give. Do I go first? Do you want me to go first? Sure, sure. Okay, I'm gonna give Gremlins a five. Wow. <laughs> be be realistic. Crazy. All yeah. right, 4.5, 4.5. I love Gremlins. So. Like, I 4.5. I love Gremlins. It's you see so why good. I have to go so low to keep things real? I like moments. And especially knowing it's one of our last true 80s films, I'm giving it a higher score. <laughs> we have three 80s films next year. Three. That's not enough. 
I signed up for this because I thought it was all 80s all the time. <laughs> Wait, Marilyn, she's texting me. Hold on, Marilyn has a score. Son, do you want to give your score while we're waiting for Ralph? <laughs> sure. Mar I have Marilyn's score. Uh, probably like a, like maybe 2.5. Sorry, <laughs> I I've only ever seen it like when I was a kid, and um and then watching it again, I I really don't think it held up like at all for me. Um, I I thought it was kind of boring. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Why? Sorry. Why? I don't know. Because I'm poo pooing it. <laughs> uh, I don't think any of us have a don't, like nobody, emotional Crystal. attachment. Yeah, Crystal has it. Well, I love, all, I love so all movies, huge, and everybody loved Gremlins so much, like just everybody talked about it i remember when like it came out and well actually i i wasn't born yet but i, I it was still so huge even after that even after yeah. that it was still so big like yeah anyway so. yet either huh we weren't born yet either when it came out yeah yeah hmm. that's uh, you're <laughs> full of it <laughs> all right of course i was born uh i'll give this thing um I remember when I first saw the movie in theaters uh, with my parents, uh, I was kind of taken aback that this was a, a more scary kind of, you know, Spielberg-y kind of movie, even though he didn't direct it, he just produced it. Um, but you could see his fingerprints all over it. Uh, and uh, I remember thinking like, wow, that was, uh, that was crazy. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, and there were scenes with friends in school that we would talk about like, oh shit, like, like we said, the kitchen scene or, oh, God, the, the driving the bulldozer through the house and things like that or snowplow, whatever. Um, so I, I'll say if the kid back then would have given us a higher score, the adult today. And there's a lot of things about it now that I'm like, ooh, uh, we, that, that could use a rewrite. Uh, but this was the 80s. And this was the time when uh, Asian kind of like we're better than we're americans god damn it we're better than that uh was strong so i will give this a a, a three a three solid three is about right um i you I, you know i'd tell younger people to watch it today with a couple of caveats ahead, ahead of time be like listen this was the time that this movie came out but enjoy that's it <laughs> casey yeah. noah is that a one? one? No, that's a nose goes. I'm gonna oh. get it first. All right, I'll. Uh, I'm going with Brian. I'm giving it a, a three. I've been dishing out threes all year. I, I feel like a, a three would be a good way to close off. Um, but yeah, that down the middle. Honestly, it was better. I, I feel like I enjoyed it more. I, I think I enjoyed it about on par as I did when I was a kid, but for different reasons now. So. I, I think, you know, there are parts of it that are definitely fun and enjoyable. I would watch it again, but it's not going to be, you know, a standard tradition movie for me, you know? Okay. Casey? Oh. Um, I'm also, <laughs> I'm also going to hit it with a three. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of not completely invested in this movie when i watched it ralph kind of caught me watching it at the office today <laughs> I'm glad you're so today it's technically work it was yeah it's technically work so <laughs> honestly and as you guys talked about it i feel like i was like oh i don't remember that i don't i like I really only remembered a few of the, the gadgets made i was like oh my gosh how much of this movie did i miss so I feel as though my score is a little not biased, but just perhaps not correct. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was fine. It was just a little. It was a little oddly scary for you what like? I thought it was. Yeah, gonna be. it's a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. I thought they were gonna be cute and like it was gonna be a cute, wholesome like, Christmas like movie. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, okay. Well. I'm going to say something, which will shock all of you. Marilyn gave this a lower score than me. Born, <laughs> <laughs> um, I almost, me and Marilyn were pretty close. I'm giving it, based on what Brian had said earlier, was the technical. I gave it the, the technical aspects of the movie for 1980, whatever, four, were very good. The, the way they did the design, the gremlins, all that stuff looked really good. And, and it really holds up to a point. Like, a, 
you know, and it's Spielberg, so it makes sense. Um, so there's something like that. Um, but that's it. That's where it ends. Uh, so I'm going to, for that reason, go for a 2.25. Um, it's not the worst thing I've seen, obviously. It's like, okay, it's better than some of the other crap we watched this year. So um, 2.25 from me. And uh, and Marilyn gave it a 2. Wow. Uh, wait, Sam, what did you give it? Uh, like 2.5. Okay. So Marilyn was our low scorer for for the for the day, so uh, for once I did not give the lowest score. I proud. Of <laughs> she didn't really give me a reason. She just said two. I <laughs> 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 oh, got a video. I don't know. I don't see it. Casey, did you get a video? I don't know if we have time. Um, to did see. she email it? I, I didn't see it. I don't know. I'm on my phone. Uh, I did not get an email. Oh. Okay, so while you're looking for it, I will give you guys another reason why I gave such a high score. The Lena, part where he explodes in the microwave gave my best friend and I at like in like you know fifth and sixth grade this idea, uh, and yes, I watched this movie really young, probably shouldn't have looking back. Um, but we used to get those big marshmallows and put two toothpicks in them, and they would put them in the microwave, and then whoever's got like knocked the other one down first or exploded first, like the gremlins, won. <laughs> So yeah, we I use we I love that game and we well, that that give it up. <laughs> wow. Uh when we were kids, we had rock'em sock'em robots for that shit. <laughs> we had dad clean the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, that's bad. That would be bad. Um well we, I don't know if we have time to show Marilyn's video. I'm sorry. I, I don't I would never got it if there was a video. Wow. I apologize to Marilyn. Um, but we did or as a two. I can't imagine she had many nice things to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this cover. Did you make a sexy gremlin? <laughs> a gremlin. It's up to you guys to decide. Sexy gremlin. <laughs> Ready? Is it up on I'm the gonna... Yes! <laughs> I love it! And I don't mind feeding that one at night. Don't get her wet. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Son? Or Me? No, it was it was Crystal. <laughs> you got it. Don't get her wet. Um okay. That's the tagline. That's the Instagram the captions. <laughs> hey uh, so, Casey, can you grab the link? Do you have the do you have the link to the I can get it? Yeah. Uh, Mark Mark, I think, just sent it and uh, I'm uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Um, get your cover. That's awesome. I, who, Dude, who that's, like that's probably one of my favorite covers of the year, honestly. That's a good one. It's really oh. good. It Wait, is a good, it's a good Edward Scissor's hand was that last year or this year? That was last. Oh, the first year. The wait. Okay, this is my favorite mm -hmm. one of the year. I'm for, I'm <laughs> getting all mixed up now. Me too. They're starting to run. Uh -huh. But yeah, that one's Edward Scissor's hand and that one are probably my two favorites right now, for sure. Great cover. Yeah. Um, I might steal okay. it as a cosplay idea. That's a good one. <laughs> I couldn't find any good ones. Like, it was hard to find, like, a good example. Yeah. That like, somebody did that. Yeah. Oh, they, they already did that? Did you find someone cosplaying that? Or did you create? No, I couldn't find anyone that cosplayed exactly that. I, I remember that. Ralph and I on a call once. I remember Ralph and I were on a call once. And we were like, how do we make a gremlin sexy? <laughs> do you remember that? Do you remember that? I don't I don't remember. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine we had that comment. Yeah, we probably were like, "What the hell did we?" And do? so we scrapped it for the year before, and then I was surprised to see it on this year's that list. Yeah. Makes, hell sense. yeah! Thank you okay, guys I, for not making me watch Krampus. <laughs> um. Listen, this is the last. This is the last uh, movie club of the year, as you know. Obviously. Um. Another great year of subpar movies. Thank you for everyone were, putting up with. They were much better this year than last year. I feel like okay, next really? year, complaining about the list, it's going to be more fun to watch these movies. I'm oh, easily. Saying. I mean, it's uh, it's just going to the ratings are going to be like at five, four, five. Yeah, five. we got to change it to a. One I don't out of know, y'all. I'm probably going to give next year's the lowest ratings. 
I was going to say. Re- 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 I love the 80s re- shit. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Where to go but down. Her and Chris. Blade's got a five. Everything was a five. <laughs> I, I can't wait for you to come up with excuses of like why to give them lower ratings. Like there just wasn't enough cringy dialogue. <laughs> I'm gonna use it right now. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's very hard to get a five though. Let's put up that uh, list again. What we got. Let's see what the next year. Yeah, we got. What, see, what, see, let me see. Oh, next month's first movie is John Wick. I think. Okay, John Wick is the absolute best. Drive is uh, better for me. Oh wait, we have Drive the layouts movie. too for John Wick. Oh, let's see oh. them. Ooh. 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 I only two. Get it off. Yeah, get, it off. Two. Oh, it's two okay. get it off. Get it off. Too. <laughs> we'll talk about it next time. Me and Noah abused the layout. <laughs> this has been a thing, though. Like, Very it's cute. posting the layout. I think we have to nix these layout. Uh, but the fans love them. Yeah, the fans <laughs> love the <laughs> lands. Awesome. <laughs> right. Hey guys, happy uh, have a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Happy oh, holidays. Yeah. Happy holidays. Oh, Everybody, <laughs> Everybody watching. Oh, yeah. Happy you guys. Oh wait, we're gonna have oh, movie you club must awards. Be Muslim. <laughs> movie club rewards what movie club awards on next awards. yeah we're gonna total up like who's the biggest hater yes i can't wait it's like the office it's like <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. are we doing are we doing the awards and then the second half of the show is john wick i don't know Okay. I don't. I haven't the figured it out yet. Probably be fast, right? It'll be oh, very fast. fast. I feel like it'd be like two or three minutes. We're gonna. I'm gonna draw them out with my speeches. <laughs> play the music. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play them off. Play them off. It'll be very fun though. I have. I've gone absolutely insane. So Noah and Brian have the closest movie taste out of all of us thus far. I know. It's the glass. <laughs> Well, listen, it's been real. Another great year of sun covers, more importantly. Yes, and, absolutely. And um, we appreciate it. Rough. It was a rough, rough uh, year. <laughs> uh, sun, Crystal, Brian, and, and Marilyn, you guys setting aside time for us. We really appreciate that. And uh, we love you guys. Thank uh, you. We love you too. I hope you have a phenomenal holiday with your family and friends. And, um, that's all. I appreciate all you guys too for watching and putting up with me and my low ratings. Yeah, you're in super low ratings. <laughs> um, that is all I. <laughs> uh, does anybody want to plug anything real quick? I forgot the important part. Brian, are you going to sure. be anywhere up soon? Uh, no, I'm done for the year. My next thing probably is until uh, end of January, beginning of February. I'll be at Pensacon in Pensacon, Florida, uh, Pensacola, Florida in February. Big gathering. Uh, if you're looking for last second gifts, there you go, folks. Clerks 3, go get it. Yes. You can get it now on uh, DVD, Blu ray. You could also get it on streaming. Uh, that was a lot of work that we put into this year promoting it. And uh, hopefully, people have been enjoying it. <laughs> oh, yes. Crystal, anything coming up you want to talk about? Uh, I've got two conventions in January. Um, I'm really bad and don't remember their names, so we won't promote those. But I'll be on Twitch, Crystal. Okay. Okay. Maybe a VIP event in March, Crystal. Oh yes, that too. Hey, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Sun, anything going on? Any Kickstarter happening? Actually, yeah. So I've got another Kickstarter coming up, uh, end of January. It's going to be for a new character again. So get a lookout for that pretty exciting it's my third creator owned uh project so i hope people like it it's going to be like um erotic comedy hell yeah is and there a pre-launch uh, link yet or is uh no we're gonna have that up probably mid-january so we're gonna yeah thank okay. you though appreciate that okay. Okay. <laughs> oh you're um, promote it on the next movie club yeah and then oh and i'm also filming a process video so if any so for you guys which is super exciting so you guys are going to get to see how i create my covers one of our oh, awesome. yeah. hey. uh, right on. super exciting yes very cool thank you you're welcome you're the best you should do that for all of them so that's like a bonus 
You're my favorite, son. You're my, oh, don't tell Dawn. So she does. She does progress videos all the time. Uh, right. Uh, no, I appreciate that. I'm sure the fans will love it. Uh, Casey, no, anything to plug? Um, you could watch our show on Tuesday this week, because we we're taking on Monday. So Tuesday what? at one. No, no, no. Monday's a rerun. That's what they're getting. They're getting, no, they're getting we told, a rerun. We told the people we'd be there Tuesday morning. Tuesday we told the people that the show was over. I, I told the people that Casey Coffee you know was canceled. Canceled. Last episode. 2023. Honeymoon's over. You guys yeah. can't Jones show. Someone someone had to. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, there it is. Well, maybe we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> We'll find you guys find out. <laughs> Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Right. It's coffee, coffee, with coffee, coffee with Casey. Coffee with Casey and Noah from outside the window. <laughs> uh, everybody have a goodbye. Merry Christmas. Love. Happy holidays. Hello. Love.